Now, before we get into this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that a very, very close friend decided to join me for this collaboration. After the video is over, make sure you go check them out. Let's begin. What's your emergency? Yeah, hi, um, this is gonna sound kind of strange, but there's a man stumbling around in circles in my front yard. Could you repeat that, sir? He looks sick or lost or drunk or something. I just woke up to get a glass of water and heard snow crunching around underneath my front window, so I peeked out. I'm looking at him now. He's about ten yards away from my window. Something's just not right. What's your address, sir? Yeah, it's 1617. In Penella Pass. I'm going to send a squad car your way, but that's quite a ways out. Are you alone in your house, sir? Yes, I'm alone. Can you confirm that all your doors and windows are locked? Stay on the phone with me. Uh, I definitely know that my front door is locked. But I'll go and check my back door again, real quick. I appreciate your help, by the way. I know this is kind of strange, but I really hope that. Sir, are you still there? He's... He's still in the yard. But he's... What the fuck? He, he's upside down. Sir, stay on the phone with me. What's happening? He's staring right at me. But he's... He's standing on his hands now. He's perfectly still, staring straight at me. He's doing a fucking handstand, and he's smiling at me and not moving. I... I don't know how he... Yeah, he's facing me and standing on his hands, and he's got a huge smile, and he's perfectly still. get someone out here now. Sir, I need you to remain calm. I put out the call. An officer's on his way. His teeth are huge. What? Please help me. Sir, I want you to try to keep an eye on him, but make sure your back door is locked again. We need to make sure all possible access points are secured. Can you talk me through and confirm that your back door is locked? Okay. I'm walking backwards now, and keeping him in my sight. My hand is on the back door knob now. It's locked. I need to check the deadbolt, so I'm going to take my eyes off of him for a split second. All right, sir. Help is on the way. Just stay on the phone with me. Everything's going to be all right. Sir, are you still there? He's... his face... It's against the glass. Sir, I need you to speak up. What is happening? I looked away for a split second and now... His face... is pressed up against my front window. His teeth are huge and he's smiling. There's no color in his eyes. Jesus, please help me. Why won't he fucking move? Sir, I need you to go to the nearest room and lock yourself inside of it. Do you have a basement or a bedroom that you can lock yourself in? He won't stop staring. He's going to hurt me. Sir, I need you to listen to me. Lock yourself somewhere safe until the officer arrives at your house. Can you hear me? I... Yes, yes. I'm going to lock myself in the room. And you're positive that you're alone in your house, correct? Yes, I'm alone in the house. Wait a moment. He's moving. He's shaking his head. He's telling me no. He can hear us. He's telling me I'm not alone. Sir? Sir, are you still there? I heard a loud noise. Is everything all right? Sir? This is very urgent, so I'll get right to it. I pulled some strings with the colleagues in the department 
and I was able to obtain the copy of this police report that the officer filed in regards to the call two weeks ago. I've got to be extremely careful about covering up this officer's personal information. The investigation is ongoing, and there's been some weird stuff happening. You'll see what I mean down below. The police and the news departments are in a frenzy trying to keep the details quiet for now, and there is a palpable feeling of unease circulating around the town. If my boss finds out that I'm posting all this here and I lose my job, so be it. This is only the official statement, if you could say, being released to the public tomorrow morning. Ashland Police Department advises all homes and businesses within a five mile radius of Panella Pass to secure all doors and windows by any extra security measures available, effective immediately. A curfew is in effect for all the citizens in the city of Ashland. All the persons found on the streets after sundown will be held and questioned in regards to the suspicious cult activity. A police barrier has been placed around the perimeter of the quarry in Northwest Ashland. No one is to enter the restricted zone until further notice. And all persons found attempting to enter this restricted zone will be subdued on site. Officers have been ordered to use force at their own discretion. There will be no exceptions. And here is the transcript of the actual police report filed by the officer that arrived on the scene. I don't know how my friend got a copy of this. Honestly, I don't want to know. Beginning report. Officer redacted. Approach the premise of at 4.37 a.m. on February 9th, 2015, in response to a 911 dispatch report of a suspicious person. The officer immediately noted that there were no lights on in the house and there was no response after the officer repetitively knocked on the door while identifying himself. Officer Redacted noticed a series of erratic footprints and handprints in the snow leading up to the house. Officer Redacted noted no evidence of forced entry into the home through the bay window. Upon examining the rear of the house, Officer Redacted noted another set of footprints originating from the edge of the quarry, approximately 20 yards from the house, and leading directly towards the back of the house. The prints were spaced extraordinarily apart, indicating that the individual was able to cover an immense amount of ground relatively with a few strides. The officer then noted a series of marks presumed to be handprints and footprints leading directly up to the aluminum siding of the house and ending immediately under the attic window on the third floor. The officer then noted that the attic window appeared to be broken into from the outside. There were no ladders or cables visible, which could have assisted an invader into reaching that third story window. Author's note. On the copy of the report that I have, the sergeant of our police department circled the section and wrote in the margin what the hell? Investigation and verification needed immediately. Upon completion of the officer's survey and his inability to enter the house without a lawful warrant, Officer Redacted began driving away in his squad car at approximately 4.43 a.m. as he was calling the station, reporting his findings. He claims to have witnessed several pale, smiling faces appearing in every window of that house, each wearing an expression of what he later described as eager and amused curiosity. End of report. As I said, the city issued curfews and information about the restricted zone will be announced tomorrow. But I thought I would alert everyone here first. As far as I know, the exact details of the report are being held in confidentiality because, as you can see, there are some unsettling things surrounding this entire incident. Author's note. As I was uploading all of this information, another coworker friend of mine from the emergency dispatch staff called me to inform me 
that the officer that was called into the scene has gone missing. You will definitely hear about that tomorrow if you live anywhere near this area. Police units from nearby counties are being brought in to assist us with this search. I say this as a dispatcher. Please take these ordinances seriously and report any suspicious findings to any authorities. According to my friend, the officer's wife was the last person to have seen him. Apparently he was leaving their home. He muttered something about wanting to check out that house again. Now before you leave this video, I want to give a massive shout out and a huge thank you to a very, very good friend of mine that I've known almost since I started YouTube. I want to give a massive shout out to Noetic Stories for helping me out once again with another good story. I'm so happy with it and I've always wanted to do a 911 story and she decided that she wanted to help me with it and I'm very thankful for it. Trust me, she's a really good 911 dispatcher voice. I can, I can guarantee that. I'm just saying. But make sure to go check out her channel for me. Tell her I sent you. And make sure that she knows that she did a good job. She's always done a good job on my channel. If you would like to see those other videos that we've done, I'll make sure to put the links in the description as well. With also all of her links to her YouTube, her Instagram, everything like that. I'll make sure to post that in the description as well, along with all of mine, like my Twitter, my Instagram, everything like that will be in there. And if you did really like this, make sure to like, comment, and if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you heard, make sure to subscribe. We're doing nothing but growing, and I've got a lot of really good content coming. Trust me, you're going to want to see it. But other than that, stay safe, stay scary. And I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to go check out her channel. She's really cool. And she's a fucking sweetheart.